this weekend, get ready for a night of great championship fights. UFC 259, the last style bender, Israel Adesanya, moves up to face dangerous puncher, Polish power, Jan Blachowicz at light heavyweight. Also on the card, the destructive Amanda Nunes versus Australia's Megan Anderson. Use the Boxing Eagle link in the description to order UFC 259 ESPN Plus pay-per-view. And for $20 more, you'll get ESPN Plus a one-year subscription. UFC 259 Blahovich vs. Adesanya should be a great night of fights on a very stacked card. Saturday, March 6th. You don't want to miss this. I'll see you at the fights. Battle-tested veteran Leo Santa Cruz warns Ryan Garcia that Tank can knock him out, and he believes that Ryan Garcia needs more experience before he gets in there with Javante Davis. We're going to talk about it on this side, the real side. What up, Fight World? It's your boy, Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, subscribe to my channel for the latest and greatest in boxing. I need y'all to smash the like button 2021. If it's up, then it's up. We about to have some fun on the channel. Before I get started, UFC 259, style bender Adesanya, Israel Adesanya moving up in weight. He's fighting a, a dangerous puncher and it should be a good fight. Manda Nunez also on the card. It's a great stack card. UFC 259, if you are gonna be ordering UFC 259 ESPN Plus pay-per-view, you can click the link in the description box of all my videos that does go to support the channel and help me continue to um, build on the channel. You know, get new gear, housekeeping, things like that. So, should be a great fight. I'll be tapped in, UFC 259, click that link. Now, Leo Santa Cruz did an interview link in the description. And this is what he said regarding Ryan Garcia potentially facing Gervonta Davis. Quote, I think it's a great fight. They both hit hard and have their thing. But right now, I think Ryan Garcia needs to get more experience. So this is Leo Santa Cruz's innermost thoughts. Ryan Garcia, he has flaws and he showed it in his last fight and he got caught by Luke Campbell. He was wide open. He got caught and he got dropped. If Gervonta Tank Davis catches him like that, he could hurt him and knock him out. I think it's going to be a hard fight for both, but the experience will be right there. And I think Tank is the one with the experience. Ryan Garcia has great power and great speed and everything. He needs more experience. And he needs to go more rounds, 12 rounds with fighters with experience, and you'll get it end quote now shout out to leo santa cruz uh for his honesty and giving his honest assessment you know you have a mexican-american fighter leo santa cruz and he's saying of ryan garcia exactly what i've been saying and it's funny because when i say anything on my channel people say oh you're hating and this and that and you're biased and things like that but leo santa cruz is saying the exact same thing in addition, Ryan Garcia's own coach, Eddie Reynoso, has basically alluded to the same thing. You know, that tank needed tank fight and stuff needs more preparation. And he would like to see that a bit more down the line. He also was very honest. Shout out to Eddie Reynoso. And he said he didn't like the Pacquiao fight for Ryan Garcia. So my thing is this Ryan Garcia, he's very ambitious. His popularity has come before the resume, which is rare. You know, a lot of times the guys have to keep fighting and, you know, do all this and that before they're in the public eye like Ryan Garcia. So he has a real good thing and he could just continue to build on it. He's going around saying he wants to fight Pacquiao. I told you, I didn't think that would be in his best interest, especially 140 or a catch weight of 143. Pacquiao, I believe, would be too much. Um, Boxing is boxing. You know, people say all the cliche, oh, one punch can change everything. Yeah, but so can a thousand punches from Pacquiao. That can change everything as well. It's not just like, oh, if Ryan gets this off, it's what's, what's coming at you. And we know Manny Pacquiao is a beast. Um, I I want to hit, um, 
Ryan, uh, like uh, Ricky Hatun. Do, 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 do. Well, you know, Pacquiao is a very experienced guy. He has 70 plus fights. So I always seen that being a bad fight at the moment for Ryan Garcia. And I did a video about it. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. I drop the illest dope content in this boxing game and the latest and greatest. So that fight's not happening. Ryan Garcia pretty much, you know, had that talk with his fans on his platform and says the Pacquiao fight fell through and he told TMZ. So that's not happening next. So we don't have to really worry about that. I predicted that Ego Stradamus and I also predicted that Gervonta Davis and Ryan Garcia won't happen next. And I believe I'll be right with that. And I predicted that Mikey Garcia would fight Pacquiao. So, you know, I have a chance to go three and no with the Ego Stradamus predictions as far as those are concerned. And we'll see. I really don't, no matter how much Ryan Garcia wants to fight Gervonta and, and believes two rounds, he has probably people in his corner. You're going to, they're going to like Oscar De La Hoya. He's going to put his two, two fingers up and say like two rounds and go along with what Ryan's saying about, oh yeah, you'll be tanking in two rounds. But at the end of the day, I don't feel that De La Hoya and a lot of those people who are putting up the two fingers and saying the two round stuff, believe that. And based on if the fight happens next and if Ego Stradamus is wrong or right, that's gonna determine if they believe it or not. Because we know Ryan Garcia in Tank Davis is a fight that people would pay for. And I, I do believe Gervonta Davis is, is super open for that fight because just like Leo Santa Cruz is saying, he's the guy with the experience. He also has power. He's a southpaw, which just clipped Ryan Garcia in his last fight. So all in all, you can say whatever you want. I think Ryan's a good kid and developing fighter. But the fact that you had a southpaw, Luke Campbell, and got dropped, it's going to be hard pressed for anybody to believe that you will be the favorite to beat Javante Davis. Again, you could keep saying the cliche boxing thing. Oh, um, you know, one punch can change everything, which is true. But at the end of the day, do you believe that? You know what I'm saying? Like, there's a lot of things, like anything in this world, like you can wake up and win some kind of sweepstakes, publisher's clearinghouse, and they put a million dollars in your bank account. That could happen. But what is the likelihood of that happening you see what i'm saying so people like to play these semantics i don't like i like to cut the fat get straight to it i don't like to play these games you know would you bet if you had ten thousand dollars in your bank account would you bet it on ryan or javante davis and there's a lot of people online that will say x y and z but they wouldn't put their money where their mouth is right shout out to leo santa cruz and others for for being honest these are just fight predictions i don't care if you believe Ryan Garcia two rounds and all that, even though he got dropped in the second round of his last fight, if you believe he will beat Tank in two rounds, great, make the fight. You know, that's all we're asking for. LSI, let's see it. I personally am not of that thinking. I don't think, um, I never said it would be an easy fight, but I definitely would favor Tank Davis. And somebody who just fought Tank and got his jaw cooked, Leo Santa Cruz is obviously agreeing with me. And they're both from SoCal. They're both uh, identifying Mexican-American. And Leo's just being honest. He's saying like, bro, you you need, like, you like, are wide open in your Luke Campbell fight. So I think the fight would be big just based on the, the profiles. But I, I don't know many people at the moment that would back Ryan to be the favorite. And I, I think you see that from boxing. You ask... Ask Robert Garcia and Mikey Garcia who will win. You know, Leo Santa Cruz. Even Eddie Reynoso has given you clues that Ryan's not ready. So, you know, if Ryan feels he's ready, then beg your team to make the fight and get the fight done. It's just, um, you know, just a bunch of opinions until it happens. So it'll be up to Ryan to, to prove all the naysayers wrong if he can do it. Drop your thoughts in the comment section. Also get UFC 259 and TubeBuddy. You're serious about your YouTube channel. It takes money to make money. Let's go. We work. Are you tired of your YouTube videos not getting any views? Well, consider TubeBuddy. 
I've used TubeBuddy for years to scale up my YouTube channel. Now we're sitting over 200,000 subscribers. TubeBuddy is a browser extension that offers a ton of built-in productivity and time-saving services to take your channel to the next level. Use my link in the description to get started with TubeBuddy and level up your channel faster. We work it. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button. And you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing.